Well, Steve, this is at least the fourth time this year that we've been to this village shopping center at North Miami and Holloway Street for some kind of violence. An active investigation still going on behind me. Pictures being taken, evidence is being collected, and we'll be this crime scene will be going on for some time. Those business owners tell me they are frustrated tonight, telling me they want the city to do something. I hear a lot all the time, and today was it. I've never heard nothing like what I heard today. Crystal Hines heard the gunfire, ducked, and then saw ambulances racing down Holloway Street. We had 20 police cars go that way. 20 police cars in five minutes. She runs the exclusive hair salon at Holloway and Briggs Avenue. We hear boom, boom. Yes, we, we did hear. We heard it. We heard it, and it was right there. She just moved into this shop in February. Her salon in the middle of another violent day in East Durham. Nothing works out here. Um, this is a very, very violent neighborhood. One shooting happened at the bus stop today down the street from Crystal to Holloway and Bry. Police found a man lying on the sidewalk and pronounced him dead at this scene. Farther down Holloway, another crime scene and three more people shot. It's always something going on in this neighborhood, and it was in the village. Crime tape covered the parking lot of the Village Shopping Center on North Miami Boulevard. Police say one person died at this scene, and two others were taken to the hospital, including a juvenile. Now I don't want to go to check cash in place. Now I don't want to go to McDonald's. I mean, can't the city do something? The recent crime scenes all too familiar for Crystal. Earlier this month, a fight led to a shooting at the McDonald's. In late July, someone was shot and killed at the bus stop right next to the shopping plaza. And then back in January, the subway here was peppered with bullets. Five people were hurt in a drive by. I was out here the whole time. It's just incredible. Crystal not clear where to turn next to get more people to come to her salon. It's very hard to run a business here with so much violence. And while this was happening here, there was another shooting about 10 minutes from here on Fargo Street, right near Lakewood Avenue. In that case, police say that one person was shot and taken to the hospital with non life threatening injuries. We have asked, we have pressed the DPD tonight to see if this scene and the one just up Holloway Street, not too far from here, if they are linked in any way. Steve, they said that is all part of this investigation. Back to you. Yes.